Before you start saving or before you create a savings program, you need to first set your goals. Ano ba ang dahilan kung bakit ka nagsisave? Wala lang kasi sabi ni Alvin, mag-save. So dapat alam mo yung dahilan mo. Okay? Mag, nasubukan mo na sumangay ng chip na hindi mo alam sa mga pagpunta. Hindi pa. Okay. Kasi mahirap targetan yung isang bagay kung wala kang target na pinapatamaan. Okay? So you have to set a target first. Para meron kang pinupunterya. Okay? So yung target na yan, these are your goals and it will serve as your guide. Without a clearly defined set of goals, you will not know what to do or where to go. Alam mo ba yung inik na pag pinuhuta na ulo yan? Hindi agad-agad umamatay yan. Tatak mo yan. Gaganon. Wala ulo. Tatak mo. So ganun kayo. Gusto nyo try? So walang ano, walang direction. Walang may direction sa buhay. Alam mo dun sa Cebu, meron yung sandong column sa Sun Star Daily. It's one of the more popular uh, news daily sa Cebu. Meron yung isang column na nag-sent na, in yung isang reader. Nagre-reklamo siya. She is, she, she is a single mom. Meron yata siya isa o dalawang anak. Uh, ang sabi niya, she, she is living day to day. Ano siya, bored na bored daw siya sa buhay niya. Kasi wala hindi niya alam ang gagawin niya. Ang nakikita ko dahil na yun is because wala siyang long-term goals. Pag ganun talaga, wala kang long-term goals, parang hindi mo alam kung anong say-say ng buhay mo. Okay? So you have to set your goals. And to set your goals, remember this acronym. SMART. Pasensya na yung globe ang telepono. Pero meron tayo ay SMART na. I'm sure alam nila itong SMART? Goals? Okay? sabihin niya, if I come up with globe, isishare ko sa inyo later on, kapo meron globe. Niisip ko pa yung paano. But for now, let's stick with smart. So ano ba itong, ano ba talaga yung, alam natin specific, measurable, actionable, achievable, or realistic. So ano ba talaga yung sabihin niyo? Briefly, pag sinabi yung specific, your goal must be very clear, well defined, so that you can visualize it. Ano ba yung visualization? Yung Ini-imagine mo na yung goal mo ay na-accomplish na. Okay? Magbawa, ang goal mo is magkaroon ng bahay. So, ini-imagine mo na andyan na yung bahay. Natutulog ka na sa kwarto ng bahay. So, to aid visualization, your goal has to be very clear. Kasi kung hindi kaya, mahirap imagine it. So, instead of saying na, I want to build a house. Ano bang house yan? Dog house? Bird house? Tree house? So, hindi natin alam kung anong house niya. So, dapat malinaw. You can say, I want to build a five-story house on a 1,000 square meter lot with a swimming pool, with a cinema sa loob ng bahay, with a helipad, with 20 bathrooms and 10 rooms. So, mas maraming bathrooms na yung so, gano'ng pag-imagine, pati yung kulay ng mga kwarto, yung kubong, yung pader, pwede mo isama yan sa imagination mo. Okay? So, gano'n ang, um, gano'ng ka-detail dapat. Okay? Or, you don't just say, I want to be rich. Detail, specific ba yun, a goal? I want to be rich. Ma'am, pa, eh, magkano ang kailangan mo para masabi mo mayaman ka? Ilang million? Million? Billion? Million? Ilang million siya? Sampong million. O ma'am, what about you? Dito sa table na to. Ma'am, what about you? Kayo ma'am, how many million do you need? Para masawa ko din po niya. Kaya ka sila. Ilang million? O hindi niyo pa naisip yun? What about you ma'am? One million only? What about this group? Ma'am, kayo. Ilang million sa kailangan nyo para kung sa amin nyo mayayang kayo? Para sa kaling mabigyan ka nyo ngayon. Ikaw ma, what about you? How many millions do you need to consider yourself rich? 50? Kayo dyan sa likod. Billion? Ako ma, kaya bumulat ka ka. Kaya dyan? 
Christmas. What about you? How many millions do you need to consider yourself as rich? Billion? Yeah. Okay, tayo. Napaka-konti natin dito. We are less than 30 or 30 lang tayo. Pero iba-iba ang konsepto natin sa mayaman, pagiging mayaman. So, yung pagsinabi mo, I want to be rich, hindi yun specific. So, instead of saying, I want to be rich, sabihin mo yung sa akin, magkano kailangan mo. You can say, for example, I want to accumulate 10 million by the time I reach the age of 60. Yeah? Specific talaga, 10 million. Or I want to save 50 million by the time I reach the age of 200. <laughs> yung mati po, gano'n ka specific. And how do you imagine such a amount of money? Yung ipang sa'yo, kata ba? Paano imagine yung bahay? Madaling imagine yun. But what about money? How do you imagine millions of pesos? Ako ang sinasuggest ko simple lang. You imagine yourself lying in bed kung sa tatagunan ka ng pera. 10 million in coins. Para maramdaman mo, namayangan ka. Because if you can feel, if you can feel your goal, mas mamamotivate ka. Mas mamamotivate ka na to go for your goal. So ganun imagine mo. Pero imagine mo, dapat motivate ba yung kama? Kasi mga bumigay. Okay? So that's specific. What about measurable? Pag may goal, as much as possible, especially with financial goal, dapat merong naka-attach na amount. So yung bahay kanina, na example ko, dapat meron yung amount, which cost 5 million or 10 million. So you know exactly kung magkano ang pag-iipunan mo. Pag sinabi ang attainable, you come up with this a goal which is neither too easy nor very difficult. Pag easy yan, sobrang easy, then hindi smart goal yan. Okay, baka naman ang goal mo, I want to bring my children to Jollibee every week. Is that a smart goal? Hindi ba sa ating smart goal? Or, extremely difficult. Pag sobrang hirap naman yung goal na sinisest mo, then you are just setting yourself up to fail. Pag sobrang hirap yan, then you will just give up. So, huwag masyadong mahirap. Mas maganda na ang i-target mo, ganito mo ng goal, mababa. Then, once na-achieve mo na, then target a higher goal. So, pataas na pataas. Kaysa magsimula ka sa taas, na pagtingal lang mo, nakakalayo niya, parang wala na pag-asa, then you just give up. Okay? So, dapat ganun ang ating na goal, which is related actually to being realistic. Pag sinabing realistic, you have to assess if you have the skills, the knowledge, the time, the discipline to achieve your goal. For example, as goal mo is, I want to accumulate 10 million by the time I reach the age of 60. Is that a realistic goal? Yes. It depends. It depends. Kung ang nagsabi nun ay katulad ko 25 years old na, then it's realistic because 25 to 60, that's 35 years. I have 35 years to accumulate 10 million. Pero kung ang nagsabi nun ay 55 years old na, ang pera sa bako ay 10 libo lang, then is it a real, realistic goal? Hindi siya realistic because very short in time. So yun ang ibig sabihin na being realistic. Okay? And then time bound. Ibig sabihin nun, a goal is not a goal unless you put a deadline. Bakit kailangan ng deadline? So that you will be compelled to do something to reach your goal. Kasi yung sabi niya namin kanina, pag binigyan ng project, sasubmit sa November 30, gagawin November 29. Can you imagine what will happen pag sinabi ng teacher? O class, ito, project, submit when able. O kailan niyo yung sasubmit? When able? O okay, hindi niyo yung sasubmit. Kasi pwede niyo sabihin, ay ma'am, pwede niyo yung able, hindi able eh. Pwede niyo yung sasubmit. So pag walang deadline, sasabihin mo na sa sarili mo, ay okay lang na wala akong gagawin ngayon. Anyway, wala naman ako deadline. So pag palagi ka nung palagi mong pinopospone yan, bukas na lang yan, bukas na yan, bukas na yan, then baka one day you will realize na naubusan ka na na bukas. So dapat meron kang pinatarget na deadline. Okay? So smart goal. A also stands for Alvin Tabanya. Okay, para parang nag-set yan ng goal, matatandaan niyo ako. Okay? So example, ito example. 
to build a two-story house with six bedrooms, a bar, a whole theater, and a pool by the year 2020. Is that a smart goal? Smart goal by that? Is that specific? Details? Yes. yes. Actually, hindi masyadong smart yan. What's missing? Magkano. There's something missing. Magkano. Magkano. Diba sabi ko na ba? Measurable. Magkano ba dapat mo? Magkano ba kaya mas pusin mo dyan? 10 million. So dapat lagyan mo na amount. Okay. Here's another one na talaga smart. To retire at age 55 with a fund of at least 8 million. Pag gumawa kayo ng gold, lagyan nyo yung mga ganito. Yung mga mga description. I'll spend most of my days traveling with my dog. <laughs> so, da dapat nagdagan nyo ng mga ganon yung goals nyo para mas gaganahan kayo. Hindi masyadong technical. Right? So, kung gusto yung kasama yung spouse nyo, okay lang din. Pero I prefer dog. <laughs>